What's up everybody, it's Olaf, and today we are playing something a little different. Uh, this is a free-to-play game that I found on Steam. came out, uh, I think, the 23rd of December, and it's called Martial Law, and it takes place in Poland in the 1980s. So let me mess with the settings real quick. Let's turn this down. Yeah, that's much easier to hear now. Language, English, okay. Let's uh, see what it is. Press any key. Polish People's Republic, December 1981. So yeah, I'm finally back from break. So it should be, my voice should sound much better than it did before. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Oh, so wow, okay. Uh, how time flies. Is that a baby? What is that on the table? I need to get my daughter something for Christmas. Is this my daughter? She had been telling me about this doll from East Germany for several months now. Is this the doll? I have questions. I'm glad I was finally able to afford it. Okay, I'll try to get her her favorite candy and tangerines. I'm gonna move my mic. What? I didn't get a ration card for tangerines. Curiosity, in the Polish People's Republic, if you want to buy food, you must have a ration and card and money. Without a ration card, it's practically impossible. It would cost about 2.5 times more money. Okay. Oh no, it must be some kind of mistake, I think. No, it's not. I'm trying to figure out the best spot to put this. Okay, so I have the doll. There we go. How do I move? This is going to be the worst Christmas ever. I hope she'll forgive me. Well, you already got her a doll. I don't feel like she's going to hate you that much. Oh my god. This is depressing. Hope her mother will let me see her today. So what is F? F is grab. A, D. E. E. Oh. It's snowing. It is snowing. Look at this, this is quite beautiful pixel art. Hello comrade, long time no see, would you like to discuss some important matters? Sure, I need to relax. How about we discuss even more important matters now? Um, sure? Nope. Oh. I was drinking. That seems like a poor choice for me right now. What does F do? Is this punch? Am I punching? <laughs> Oh, this guy has a card I need. Excuse me, I'm sorry for bothering you, but I really do need tangerine cards. What for? You really think I care? Please, sir, I would not bother you if it wasn't important. Are you drunk? I promise I'm not. Please just listen. What do you need that card so badly for? It's for my daughter. I can't afford those without the card. She's almost 12. Why isn't she with you? She's with her mother. She won't let me see her much. I want to make her Christmas meeting special. She could use uh, some tangerines for Christmas. Will you get anything else for her? I'm sure you would have more on your mind. I wish I could be a better father one day and afford all the tangerines. I can tell you're trying your best now. I'm a complete stranger to you. Maybe I'm one of the bad guys, eh? I do hope you're not. Damn, you made me feel guilty looking at how good of a father you are trying to be. Why is that? I just realized that my mother has to spend another Christmas Eve alone. How about your father? My father is not... Uh, he's, he's out of the picture. I don't want to talk about it. I understand. I have a proposal and a request at the same time. I'll give you Mandarin cards and more. Jump in uh, to help my mother see if she is missing something before Christmas. Sure, she definitely needs some help. I'll come over to help. Thank you so much, comrade. I'm sure I'll pay you back somehow. With tangerines, I hope. Listen to the music. You have a good heart, so I don't think I have to worry about it. You can do it. Merry Christmas. We'll see you again. Pulex was a chain of shops founded in 1972 during the communist era in Poland that accepted payment only in the U.S. dollars and other hard currencies instead of the country's indigenous currency, the Zloty. Pulex was the only source to get goods that were not available in Poland at the time, like something else. I didn't read the end of it, but... Damn, I didn't ask which house number it was or what's her name. How do I find her now? Oh, I didn't. Curfew, 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. 
How would I how would I just know? Excuse me. Good morning. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a certain woman. I'm here to help with a, I'm distant family and I came to visit. Hmm. Can you tell me something more about her? Lonely old woman, no husband, has son who has no time for. Hmm. <laughs> this asshole. You probably mean Janina. She lives next to us there. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Xmas. What a mean crone. Oh, look at her cat. Who's there? Your son sent me. Son? Yes, he said he had no time to help you with Christmas and sent me. Eh, he never has time. This is depressing. Who are you anyway? I'm his good friend. From work. Oh, okay. How do I know you're not a thief? Uh, I'm not his friend. He asked me to help with his organization in exchange for a card for tangerines. I lost mine and I wanted to buy my little daughter a few. She loves them. That was that was good enough? You really believe me now and aren't afraid? I have nothing to lose. You just want to help. Supposedly. Sorry for this introduction. I'm... Oh, I'm Stanislaw. Stanislav. I don't know how you would say that in Polish. Yeah, don't let the kitten run away. I'd be really depressed. <clears throat> it's really cozy in here. Oh, it is nice. Oh, baby. What a cute kitten. Oh. Oh, he meowed again. It's continuously meowing. What a weird feeling. Something is wrong? No, I don't think so. It's just... I don't remember having so many people here for so long. Or for a long time. There's just the two of us and a cat. Did he just... Never mind. That's right, only my cat is here for me. What about your son? Uh... This music is really... What got me going through right now? What if I just left? What is this? Oh, I see. What's up? My son is a busy man. He has his own family and an important job to take care of. What does he do? Yeah, his job. <laughs> anyway, I can expect him to care. I can expect him to care about me or can't. And since my husband is dead, I can't get myself to open up. I'm going to assume the translation is weird. I'm so sorry for your loss. I mean, this is a free game. I'm not going to complain. But what happened to him? If you don't mind telling me, of course. I don't. Dots. More dots. It's closing. What? What's going on? They're closing the fish headquarters. Can you get me a cart from fish headquarters, please? Um. Yeah. Will you tell me the story once I get back? Of course. I owe you that much. I own you that much. <laughs> you did so much for me already. I just offered some help. No one's done that in a long time. There's not even periods in these sentences. Carp is still the classical Christmas Eve dish in Poland. It is one of the easiest fish to breed, while being quite large, so it was the antidote introduced by the government for food shortages. Smart. Alright, we're gonna bounce. Go find carp somehow. Oh, I almost forgot. Tell them it's for Janina. They will understand. Alright. Curfew, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Why would there be a curfew? To negate crime, maybe? What is the fish headquarters? Where does this go? The party gibberish is not information. Boy, don't you have any dollars to sell? I don't. Ugh. Uh, name from distorted change money is a colloquial term for people who dealt with hard currency in times of the People's Republic of Poland. That is dollars. Although the practice was illegal, the authorities turned a blind eye and even cooperated with them. So they sold money? Yeah. Oh, I guess I have to wait. Everything alright? Can you hear me? What What happened? Where am I? You've been in line for fish for like four years. <laughs> We're near the fish headquarters. Why does it look like it says they have no fish? Damn, I can tell you I'm too tired and old for this. You don't even look old. This is the fourth queue I'm standing in today and I can't get all the things I need for Christmas. You know what? Stay here and I'll take care of it for you. Re Why would I say that? An idiot. Look at these beautiful, these pixel arts are just absolutely gorgeous. Is everything alright with the lady you helped? Yeah, she'll, she'll live. How can I help you, sir? 
Two cart, please. One of them is for Janina. She told me you'll understand. And the second one is for the lady I helped. I told her to get some rest outside. Here you go. What about the payment? The world is missing people with good hearts like yours. We had some extra anyway. I don't know what to say. Nothing at all, comrade. Merry Christmas. Oof. I was reading some of the comments in the reviews for this, and basically people were like, this reminds me of growing up in Poland in the 80s, and I was like, that's depressing. Here you go. Here's your promised cart. Oh my, thank you so much, mister. My name is Zofia. I know I can read. It's great to meet you. Of course, it's great to meet you too. Are you getting things ready for Christmas too? Yeah, those are not for me. I'm helping an old lady. Ah, oh, what a cute doll. What's it for? It's for my daughter. She was asking for it for a long time. You've got a daughter? What a good father you must be. Yeah, she doesn't live with me. Anyway, long story. How are you feeling? A lot better, thank you. I have to run. Got a lot of things to take care of. See you around. Wait, how can I repay you? No need. Happy Christmas. Wow. Stanislav is a bro. Am I going to have to punch somebody for my fish? I know I have a punching mechanic, so... I'm really just going to get out of here. Man, Polish is difficult. Slavic languages are really hard to read. Is that the cat? Isn't that her cat? And what are you doing here? Let me take it home. Why is the cat the only one voice acted? Oh, back already. Yes, I got your cat. Hey, buddy, don't explain yourself to me. That's your owner. I wanted to go out and check the board, but I probably forgot to close the door. Oh, I forgot to give you the money to buy the car. I figured it out without it. Funny story. Don't you run away from me anymore, bad kitten. <laughs> it's not too heavy, is it, the carp? No, he's just moving around too much, wants to run away. The carp? You'll put it in the bathtub? This is like depressing Pokemon. That's how I feel right now. Okay, now tell me what happened. So, wait. I'll make us some tea. <laughs> Three cups of tea later. Very nice. That's the most interesting story about buying a carp I've ever <laughs> No, it is not. I wasn't expecting such an adventure myself. You promised to tell me more about your husband. Oh, dear. Henrik was a soldier of the home army. I was a liaison officer, that's how we met. He was hitting on me on every occasion. Can't lie, he was handsome, but I liked his caring personality the most. It was pretty rare during the war. During the war, there was no time for love. It was impossible to predict if you would live to see tomorrow. Once the war was over... Oh, he proposed to me, I was so happy. Look at that little baby! Then, oh, that's a name. Zbigniew? Zbigniew? I'm gonna say it's something like that. Was born. You know him already. It was just perfect. Too perfect. The Brigadier Commander was invited to meet the government. It was suspicious because the government was fighting the soldiers of the Polish underground state, claiming that they had collaborated with the enemy. Obviously they were not, but Heinrich went there anyway, and he never came back. It was all a trap. They got arrested. He was tortured, and then he died. I... I... Oof, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. You don't have to say anything, darling. I just miss him a lot. I mean, that's understandable, yeah. But I'm much better now. How so? I needed someone to talk to for a while. It's one of the best Christmas gifts I could get. Thank you. Not a problem at all. Someone's knocking on the door. Who could it be? Is it her son? Is it a Christmas miracle? Or is it Christmas bandits and I'm going to have to punch them in the face? It is a big niv. I don't know if that's how you say it. Don't kill me. Oh, I wasn't expecting you here today. I know, but I had a lot of time to think. I have something for you, but I'll give it to you later. You shouldn't have. Oh, I see Stanislav is here. He came to help. Damn. I'll be going because it's late and I still have to do some shopping for my daughter. Promise you'll visit me sometime. I promise. Thank you for today. Wait up. As promised, a card for tangerines. And come over after Christmas. I think I can find you a pretty decent job. See you then. Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, thank you. Of course. A lot of Merry Christmases going around. I was just Merry Christmasing your mom and then, you know, you and the door. It's not curfew, is it? Oh dear. Man, looks real seedy. Is that not where I go? <laughs> I don't know where there's even a jump mechanic for. Like, it doesn't seem like you have to jump anywhere. Can I, can I go in there? Look at that car. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. It won't let me back inside my apartment. Fish market is also closed. Where does this go? Oh, am I, am I like meeting my daughter now? Do I like find her at her house? Is that where I'm going? I would assume, maybe here. Um, CPN at the time, CPN was the only source of obtaining fuel or lubricants because it was exclusively, it had exclusivity for sale. And its peak, it had over 1400 fuel stations and a fleet of almost 600 road tankers. Wow. I'll wait in line. I'll have some tangerines, please. There's my card. Tangerines for Christmas are for sure a great choice, comrade. They're for my daughter. Mother's, you know. She won't let me see her when I'm trying to visit. She was always like that. I should have known the first day we met. But man, she was a great woman back then. She had so much passion to make the world a better place for our baby. And my daughter. She deserves the world. Such a smart child. Why is he saying all this to the, <laughs> the lady? I'm just a stupid worker. Sir, there's a line behind you. Please stop talking. <laughs> Christina. Please, sir, leave. Okay. Damn, I forgot candies. I think I could help. Zofia? Oh my goodness. Oh, look. Hello. Hello, take this for your little one. Rumor spread fast. I already know about your ex-wife. Did you do an investigation? Well, let's call it an accident. Um, what? Do you want to spend Christmas together? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm glad to see you on Christmas Day. Wait. Where do you want to meet up? Calm down, I'll find you. Wait, that's weird. Why is she backing up like that? Oh, look at those candies. I've definitely had candy like that before. Then again, I grew up in Illinois. There's a lot of Polish people that live there. Good candy. Where did she go? She just like disappeared into the night. Is this her house? Don't worry, man. You got this. Yeah, we do. We got this. Is this me smoking on a balcony? I like this picture. Anyway. Hello, Gosia. What the hell do you want? Oh. With the kid right there? Mom, who is that? She's my daughter, too. Fine, just promise you won't, you'll be leaving soon. I promise. That's depressing. Poor guy. Oh, look at her. She's excited to see me. <laughs> Hello, baby. Dad came to give you your Christmas gift. Oh, thank you. Marilik? Marilika? How do you say that? 
What's wrong? Why did you cheat on Mon? I'm old enough to know when she refuses to tell me. Oh, God. What? Why would you lie to her like that? What are you talking about? I would never cheat on you. You cheated on me. Not in front of a child. She's not a child anymore. She deserves to know. Wow, this is dramatic. Your mommy left me because she found herself a good member of the Communist Party. You need to leave. No, you need to tell her to the truth. The doll you wanted some candles and tangerines. Thank you. Look how happy she is. I'll explain everything. I don't believe that this would happen, but okay. I was just confused. Confused? Are you serious? I avoided my dad because you lied. I know, but you weren't supposed to know. This is awful. This person sucks. Are you kidding me? Listen, I don't care about the relationship anymore. I only care about my daughter. Okay. You need to let me see her more often or I will be taking her with me. Can we talk in private? Sure, but you need to promise me we'll explain everything to her after we're done. Promise. Go play outside. What do you mean go play outside? It's like dark out and snowing and cold. I thought she was going to walk over and just start smoking that cigarette. Look, the guy I'm with now has a lot more money and he can give Mar Marilla a great future. That wasn't her name before. You don't believe our child would be able to achieve her goals without some stranger's money? What? She's so smart and talented. Did you hear her singing? I know. I know she can sing. She is special, but she needs the money. Money will not save her from the trauma you've caused. She deserves to have a father. A real father. What about us? Do you see us getting back together? No. I don't. No need to be sorry. I already knew that. Some, some of these translations must be weird. They're very, like, blunt. Yeah, I agree. Let's do that. Sure, let's do that. Oh, I, he said it too. I was supposed to spend it on tangerines, but I talked too much to the cashier and she asked me to leave before I paid. That sounds like something you could do. I know, right? Those were the days, my comrades. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess that was... That was it. Uh, I'm a little curious if there's like more to it, but I think that that might honestly have just been it, which is, it was cool. I mean, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. I think it's a fun little video and a fun little game that we got to play. So yeah, let me look really fast. I'm going to pop out of the screen. You might, you probably won't see me do this because it, it probably won't show up. I'm just curious. Where it, what is this calling it? Martial law? Well, there's a few locked achievements. Oh, I don't know what they are. Huh. It's snowing. Oh, again. Sure. We did it. <laughs> so we... So there's different endings. I see. So we got the debate one. No. Funny. Okay. So we got ending number one. There's a multiple endings. I'm not going to do all of them. I was just curious of how it ended so quickly. Hmm. They sold electronics from the West. I see. I'm going to punch him. I'm going to see what happens. This is rough. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh wow, he knocked me out. You died. <laughs> okay, never mind. I think the wholesome ending was better anyway, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 
My name's Olaf, and this has been Martial Law, and I hope you give this game a try. It is free on Steam. It came out on the 23rd, I believe, the day this is supposed to take place. So, yeah. Till next time. I guess. Yeah.